द पावर ऑफ नाव बाय एक हार्ट टोले द पावर ऑफ नाव अ गाइड टू स्पिरिचुअल एनलाइटनमेंट इज अ सेल्फ हेल्प एंड स्पिरिचुअल बुक रिटन बाय एक हार्ट टोले द बुक वॉज फर्स्ट पब्लिश्ड इन 1997 एंड हैज सिंस बिकम अ बेस्ट सेलर द बुक्स सेंट्रल प्रेमिस इज दैट द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट इज द की टू स्पिरिचुअल एनलाइटनमेंट एंड द की टू ब्रेकिंग फ्री फ्रॉम द नेगेटिव थॉट्स एंड इमोशंस दैट कैन ट्रैप पीपल इन अनहैप्पीनेस एंड सफरिंग द बुक स्टार्ट बाय डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ह्यूमन सफरिंग एंड द रूट ऑफ इट विच टोले आर्ग्यूज इज द कॉन्स्टेंट स्ट्रीम ऑफ थॉट्स एंड इमोशंस दैट रन थ्रू पीपल्स माइंड्स He contends that most people are trapped in a cycle of past regrets and future worries and that this prevents them from fully experiencing the present moment. Tolle argues that the present moment is the only place where true spiritual enlightenment can be found and that people need to learn to quiet their minds and be present in the moment in order to achieve this. Tolle then goes on to explain the concept of ego and how it prevents people from experiencing the present moment he defines the ego as the voice in people's heads that is constantly chattering and judging and that it is the root of all negative thoughts and emotions tolle argues that people need to learn to quiet the ego in order to experience the present moment and achieve spiritual enlightenment The book then goes on to provide practical advice for how to quiet the ego and be present in the moment. Tolle suggests techniques such as meditation, mindfulness, and breathing exercises as ways to achieve this. This. He also emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and encourages people to find joy and fulfillment in the simple things in life. The power of now is written in a clear and easy to understand style and provides practical advice and techniques that people can use to improve their lives and achieve spiritual enlightenment. It is considered a spiritual classic and has helped many people find peace and happiness in their lives. Key insights. 1. The present moment The book emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment as the key to spiritual enlightenment. Tolle argues that most people are trapped in a cycle of past regrets and future worries which prevents them from fully experiencing the present moment and finding true spiritual fulfillment. He encourages people to focus on the present moment and find joy and fulfillment in the simple things in life. For example, instead of constantly thinking about the past or worrying about the future, one should focus on the sensation of breathing, the feeling of the sun on the skin or simply the taste of a cup of tea. Two ego, Tolle defines the ego as the voice in people's heads that is constantly chattering and judging and that it is the root of all negative thoughts and emotions. He argues that the ego is not who we truly are but rather a mental construct that we have created over time. The ego is the source of all the suffering as it is always seeking to be separate, to be in control, to be spe- special and to be separate from others. For example, an individual can observe how the ego is constantly talking to him, telling him what to do, what to think. and how to feel three mindfulness and meditation tolle suggests mindfulness and meditation as ways to quiet the ego and be present in the moment he explains that mindfulness is the state of being present in the moment without judgment and without being caught up in thoughts and emotions meditation is the practice of training the mind to be present in the moment to focus on the breath and observe thoughts and emotions as they arise without getting caught up in them for example when you are feeling anxious or stressed instead of getting caught up in your thoughts take a moment to focus on your breath and observe the feelings without judgment for inner transformation 
Tolle argues that spiritual enlightenment is not something that can be attained by seeking it, but rather it's a byproduct of inner transformation. Inner transformation means the end of the ego, the end of the mind's identification with the thought and the emotions. It is the realization that one is not the thoughts, emotions or the body. It is the realization of one's true nature which is beyond the mind and the ego. For example, when one is able to observe his own thoughts, emotions and actions without getting caught up in them, he is experiencing inner transformation. 5. No Mind The ultimate goal of spiritual enlightenment, according to Tolle, is the state of no mind, a state where the mind is quiet and at peace. When the mind is quiet, one can experience the true nature of reality, which is beyond the mind. In this state, one is free from the constant chatter of the ego and can experience true inner peace and fulfillment. For example, when one is able to meditate and reach a state of no mind, he can experience the true nature of reality. Major, major quotes from the book 1. Realize deeply that the present moment is all you have. Make the now the primary focus of your life. Example, imagine you are out on a hike and you are constantly thinking about the past, regrets and future, worrying about what you'll do after the hike. You'll miss the beauty of nature, the sound of birds singing and the feel of the sun on your skin. Instead, if you focus on the present moment and take in all the sights, sounds and feelings of the hike, you'll have a much more enjoyable and fulfilling experience. 2. The primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation but your thoughts about it. Example, imagine you are stuck in a traffic jam on your way to work. If you focus on the negative thoughts, like I'm going to be late or this is such a waste of time, you'll likely become frustrated and stressed. However, if you focus on the present moment, like listening to music or taking deep breaths, you'll be less likely to get caught up in negative thoughts and be less unhappy. 3. Death is a stripping away of all that is not you. The secret of life is to die before you die and find that there is no death. Example, imagine you have spent your entire life identifying with your thoughts, emotions and actions. You think, I am my thoughts and emotions. And I am what I do. When you die in physical sense, you'll realize that you are not your thoughts, emotions and actions. You'll realize that you are something beyond that, something that is et eternal and unchanging. By realizing this before dying, you'll experience true inner peace and fulfillment. 4. The more you are focused on time, past and future, the more you miss the now, the most precious thing there is. Example, imagine you are sitting on a bench in a park, enjoying the beautiful sunset. If you are constantly thinking about the past, like I should have come earlier or worrying about the future, like I have to be home soon, you'll miss the beauty of the sunset. Instead, if you focus on the present moment, you'll fully take in the beauty of the sunset and have a much more enjoyable and fulfilling experience. 5. To be identified with your mind is to be trapped in time the compulsion to live almost exclusively through memory and anticipation. Example, imagine you are at a party and you are constantly thinking about the past, like I should have worn something different or worrying about the future, like I hope I don't say something stupid. You'll miss the joy of the party and the fun of socializing with friends. Instead, if you focus on the present moment, You'll be able to fully take in the party, socialize with friends and have a much more enjoyable and fulfilling experience. Major Learnings 
The Importance of Living in the Present Moment The book emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment as the key to spiritual enlightenment. Tolle argues that most people are trapped in a cycle of past regrets and future worries, which prevents them from fully experiencing the present moment and finding true spiritual fulfillment. By focusing on the present moment, one can find joy and fulfillment in the simple things in life. The Role of Thoughts and Emotions in Unhappiness The book highlights the importance of being mindful of one's thoughts and how they contribute to unhappiness. Tolle argues that most people are trapped in a cycle of negative, negative thoughts and emotions, which can lead to unhappiness and suffering. By being mindful of one's thoughts, one can learn to quiet the mind and find inner peace and fulfillment. The Concept of Inner Transformation The book discusses the concept of inner transformation, which means the end of the ego, the end of the mind's identification with the thought, and the emotions. It is the realization that one is not the thoughts, emotions or the body. It is the realization of one's true nature which is beyond the mind and the ego. The practice of mindfulness and meditation. The book suggests mindfulness and meditation as ways to quiet the ego and be present in the moment. Tolle explains that mindfulness is the state of being present in the moment without judgment and without being caught up in thoughts and emotions. Meditation is the practice of training the mind to be present in the moment, to focus on the breath and observe thoughts and emotions as they arise, without getting caught up in them. The ultimate goal of spiritual enlightenment, the ultimate goal of spiritual enlightenment, according to Tolle, is the state of no mind, a state where the mind is quiet and at peace. When the mind is quiet, one can experience the true nature of reality, which is beyond the mind. In this state, one is free from the constant chatter of the ego and can experience true inner peace and fulfillment. Conclusion The Power of Now is a spiritual self-help book written by Eckhart Tolle that focuses on living in the present moment, moment without worrying about the past or future. The book encourages readers to focus their attention on what they are doing right now and not get caught up in thoughts or emotions from the past or worries about the future. Tolle argues that most people spend too much time thinking about things that have already happened or things that may happen in the future. He believes that this constant mental chatter keeps us stuck in our heads and prevents us from fully experiencing life. According to Tolle, we can only be truly happy when we live in the present moment and accept whatever is happening at any given moment. To achieve this state of acceptance, Tolle suggests several practices such as meditation, mindfulness and letting go of expectations. He also emphasizes the importance of being kind to oneself and others, which he believes is essential for creating a peaceful and harmonious world. Overall, The Power of Now offers practical advice for achieving inner peace and happiness through simple techniques like meditation and mindfulness. It has been widely read and praised by many people who have found it helpful in improving their lives. Thank mm -hmm. you.